So now what we need to do is that we need to use the chatterbot library in order to uh, respond to the user with meaningful messages and make the chatbot smart because this chatterbot library is based on AI. It's based on artificial intelligence. So here I'm going to import this library. I'm going to say from from chatterbot and then import import chatbot and don't forget to install it if you haven't installed it it's very important to install the chat chatterbot library and then i'm going to say from uh, as i have see uh, as i have uh, shown you earlier how to install it so make sure that you have installed it and if you don't know how you need to go back to the t tutorial where i uh, uh, where i explained how to install that library uh, the second thing that we need to import is that we need to import the list trainer. So I'm going to say chat uh, chatterbot dot trainer or trainers and then import and then what I'm going to import is that I'm going to import the list trainer. Now, now what we need to do is that we need to create object. We need to create an object of the. Uh, we need to create an object of the chat bot. It's very very important to do that. And here I have here it says uh, one problem, uh, invalid syntax. So uh, here make sure that everything is correct. Let me close this. So everything is correct. So what I need to do now is that I need to create an object of the chat. Uh, chatterbot. So this chatbot now, this chatbot, in order to use it, you need to create an object of it. And this object takes two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the chatbot. You can name it whatever you want. This is, by the way, not important. It's important only to distinguish between, if you have many chat chatbots in your application, you need to distinguish between uh, them and that, and that can be done by using, by giving different names to, to each single chatbot. So I'm going to name it here chatbot because I'm not going to have so many uh, different chatbots. I'm just going to have here this chatbot. And then the read only read only the read only is going to be false. False. Because we don't want it to read only. We want it to also to respond to the user. The third parameter is very very important. The third parameter is called logic adapters adapters and what this what this does is that it allows you to determine what exactly do you want this chat bot to be uh, used for so if you want it to to be used as a casual conversation between the user and the chat bot you can do that you can make it a mathematical kind of a mathematical chat bot where it solves uh, mathematical problems or maybe something else so there are many options but here, the option that I'm going to be using is just a simple conversation between the user and the chatbot. So the chatbot is going to respond to daily questions between people. So to do that, you need to say chat, ch or you need to say chatterbot, and then dot logic, and then dot best match, capital B and capital M. Again, this is chatterbot.logic.bestmatch this is going to let the chatbot respond to the user with the best uh, uh, with the best answer that we will uh, that that we are going to um, train the chatbot on so i'm going to train the chatbot to to uh, respond with specific answers to specific questions and then all of this should be stored in a in a variable i'm going to sort in a variable called bot i'm going to say here bot so the bot is going to be equal to the chatbot uh, object this object and now we are good to go